no way, dude. Dude, get him. <laughs> what? Let's go, dude. No. Dude, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god. Dude, let's go. Let's Hog go. Hog balls, baby. <laughs> Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back or to the channel and thank you guys for tuning into today's video. In this video, I'm with Brent. He's over here getting rigged up. Hello. Brent, what are we doing today? We're targeting some hogfish. We're going for hogfish, but we got live shrimp so we can catch pretty much anything. Pretty much anything. Honestly, it's it's up to whatever's down there to bite. The targeted species are hogfish, snapper, grouper, the better fish. Of course, there will be some bycatch, but it's just a matter of weeding out those other fish so without too much talking guys let's get into the video check out brent's channel i will leave it down in the description he's an awesome youtuber he's got a lot of awesome videos so go check him out and let's Aww. get fishing guys all right we are on the chest cam we're gonna drop down this knocker rig with a little little regular size shrimp got a little bead three quarter ounce weight little mustad j hook right there and we're in 50 feet of water we're gonna be dropping down hopefully we can get some good sized fish oh look at that uh, that ain't good look at that he's that just good. spiraling down Is that a, dude, that's dead weight. That's better. That? Mmm. Mmm. That felt weird. That didn't feel like any fish that I caught last time. Okay. Okay. I'm going to loosen up a little bit. Just because he's off the bottom now. But I don't know what... I'm reeling up. What could this be? I'm reeling up. Dude, this thing's digging. Oh, is it? Is it? It's... Oh, crap. It's... Oh, dude, I'm rocked. Oh, I thought he was up high enough. I will wait this fish out. Okay, that is right there. I don't want to say it. Big hog. He's out. Oh, he's out, he's out, he's out. Oh my, I gotta tighten up, I gotta tighten up. I gotta tighten up. Dude, this is a good fish. This thing just has weight. Like my rod is doubled over. I don't see color, oh, I see something down. It's a hog, it looked like it. It's a hog, it's a hog, it's a hog. No way, dude. No way. Oh, he's smart. Oh my gosh. Dude, dude, that's a good size one for my first one. Let's go, dude. That Let's get sick, it. Dude. That's awesome. Dude, that son of a gun, I mean, rock. Well, second fish is a hogfish. Second fish is a hogfish. That's a good start. Dude, let's go. Let's go, oh, dude. That's oh, awesome. That fires me up. That is exciting. All right, there we go. That's my first hogfish. Shout out to Brent for helping me get on one. This is second fish. Had a lizard fish bite first, and then this little hog. Not little, but like decent size, right? It's a keeper hog. It's a keeper hog. You can see where he scraped up. Yeah, he was actually in the rocks, right? Right down there, he was in the rocks. You can see all these scrape marks. 2,500 got him out pretty good though, so can't complain about that. Shout out to Brent once again. Let's get That's the measurement awesome. on him. Yeah, these things are awesome. That is such a cool fish. That is so sick. Right there. Uh, yeah, 15 and a half. 15 and a half. Yep. 15 and a half. That is a keeper hog. That's awesome. It's gonna be dinner. Woo! Boom. Boom. Yep. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Let's go. Let's get some more, dude. See you, dude. <laughs> Say that to the shrimp. See you, dude. <laughs> Go have fun down there. Gets thumped. Oh. There he is. Grunt? Mm, probably. Feels like a grunt. Double up? Yep. Yeah, I think it's probably gonna be a grunt, but you never know. Could be anything dropping down a shrimp. Oh, I got a snapper. Oh, dude, good size snapper. There you go. That's a keeper mang right there. I somehow foul hooked a, a grunt with a snapper. Nice, hook. nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good size mangrove. It'll go on the box. There we go. Mangrove and hogfish in the cooler so far. Not a bad looking cooler. Not a bad looking cooler. Could be worse. Could be lizard fish. Not really. In the cooler. <laughs> in the cooler. All right, let's get another shrimp. Drop it down. See if we can't get some more mangroves. Grouper. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, appreciate it. Just hooking the shrimp right through the tail. You can take the tail off and thread it through or just hook it right through the tail. It doesn't really matter in my opinion, but and drop it down nice and slow so it doesn't spiral too much. And hopefully we can hook up something again. What is this? What's it gonna be? Puffer, look oh. at them! Oh! Dude, they're fighting! Hold on, wait. Hey, 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 can we double up? Hey, hey, hey. No, look, it's a shrimp, you idiot. Dude. 
Oh, he got him. Dude, we're awesome. We're the best YouTubers ever. <laughs> Look at this. Sight fishing. Nice. There's your. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude. No, no, no. <laughs> How did that even happen? He's popping in it! He's popping up in the <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Highlight of my fishing career! Oh! What wow! Look at that sight! Hold on! Hold on! Let me get his buddy in. He's stuck! He's stuck! Are you serious? Dude, I can't get him! Dude, I, I can't get him. Look, I'm gonna break his tail. I can't get him. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let my guy go. I hope you were recording because... <laughs> I wasn't. think I was. Oh my god. Okay, oh. there we go. No, don't pop back up. No, no, oh no. my god, dude, that dude, is that tight. is tight. That is airtight. That is airtight. Oh you got him. You got him, right? So uh just send him, I guess. I've I've never Thank you for the yeah, send him really nicely. Oh, that's dude. What was that sound? <laughs> I hate these things. Dude, <laughs> they're so weird. Hey, I had to join you with that the puffer fish. That, that was, was my first puffer fish offshore. I had, of had to join you in a good way. Highlight of the day right there. Oh no. What? That's actually, it's got head shakes. It felt like dead weight. You said sand for a second and I was oh, like, yeah. lizard fish? But I don't think so because it was shaking its head and it's running sideways now. Hogfish, are you kidding me? Are you serious? Another little hog, dude baby one like oh, he's so cute look at, him. look at that guy oh yeah it's okay hog balls just hog balls just aren't doing it they're me. not doing it there we go thing is way down there that was the ugliest release ever i went to lip him and he just melted like the trout just melted out of my hands <laughs> just melted, melted. Like the trout. it was just like gone little slice to the thumb and was gone. Sweet, and my GoPro didn't die. So I'm gonna get a new battery and then swap that out and we'll get back to fishing. There we go. Um, feels like a big, like a really big grunt. Oh wait, dude, what? It's another hog, it? it's another hog. Are you kidding me? I don't think it's a keeper. No, it's little, right? I'll just flip him. It'll be close. Really? Dude. Dude, what? I was like, it feels like a big, I, see this is why I said I don't know what I'm talking about. Look, That's crazy. Look, it didn't do anything. Look at that color on that. Why didn't that thing fight? It didn't pull any drag or anything. That's crazy. All right, so that is a 13 inch hogfish right there. We're actually gonna send this guy on his way. They have to be 14 to keep, like I said, so he's not a keeper, but still an awesome fish. Really pretty, really cool fish. And you said they turn into males and that's when they're usually a keeper, right? Yeah. So this one, female. it's still a female. So send this guy on his way. There he goes. He's all good. Sweet. Go grow up and then we'll keep him and catch him next time. Let's get another shrimp on there. Let's go, dude. Let's do it. Let's get some more. Beating the crap out of me with hog right now. Uh, dude, today's just my lucky day, I guess. Oh my gosh, dude. Brent just dropped down. Pinfish got smoked. AJ. AJ? Yep. Little AJ. Little baby one. He came off. No. Oh, that was pulled adorable. Hook? hook pulled which happens, but he just lost about a 10 pound AJ. We're gonna drop down this pinfish. So we'll have two pinfish down on the bottom while we're fishing shrimp. So hopefully we can hook up to something a little bit bigger. In the meantime, we're still going for hogfish, snapper, little grouper, pretty much anything. Just gonna let this go all the way to the bottom. Once it's on the bottom, we're just gonna set it in the rod holder, have the drag pretty tight and wait. You might've got a cuda. Oh, 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 what the heck? Oh, this feels heavy. God, that got hammered. Really? Yeah. I don't know what I have. I. Brent just got slapped on the pinfish. It literally just went slack. I don't know what this is. This feels heavy. Oh, snapper, snapper. dude. Another snapper? Yeah. That's probably what I just missed, honestly. Yeah, not like that a one. Good, no, like a good size one though. That's a good one. That's a good one for shrimp. Ooh, oh my gosh, man. let's go. Dude, we're eating good. Yeah. We'll go 13 and a half. 13 and a half. Right on 12 and a half. 12 and a half? Ah, oh, we're close. We're, we're a little close, but still a keeper. Another keeper mang in the box. I went to grab the rod to reel it in. My GoPro was off and I have a fish on. Dude, it's a, oh, it's a good size gag. I think, yeah. Oh no, it's a red. It's a red. It's a red. Dude, Not a bad red. that's awesome. I literally, like I said, the GoPro was off. I was just going to reel the 
bait back in to check it. And that's a, that's a pudgy little red right there. Let's see if he'll let me get him unhooked real quick. There we go. Not bad. See you, dude. There he goes. <laughs> what? How did I not know? I just was... looked over and you're like, whoa. I was, I was like, wait. I was totally not prepared for that. I was just going to reel it up. Got him? Oh, dude. Another good one. Oh, my gosh. Is that in the rock? Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to dig. Might be another. I think it's another, another gag. gag. No. Oh, dude, hog, oh. hog, hog, hog. Oh, my gosh. That's a male. That's a good size one. It's a good one. Dude, let's go! Let's hog go! Balls. Hog balls, baby! Yeah. Go! Hog balls, baby! Yeah. It caught the hog! Woo! Let's go! Oh, he took that's, me! That's like 14 and a half, 15. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a male, right? That's a keeper. Dude, let's go! The hog ball worked! Let's go! Oh, yes! Long enough. Wow. Yes, we were very ready to move. After the gag, we kind of figured give it a little longer. I brought us back to where we were at the very beginning. Where we so there's... Two. Okay. So and there's, I don't know what it is about this... I don't know. That's weird. Hey, it's working. Uh, are you sure? That little dig right there. I did see some dig. Oh, oh, what's it gonna be? I can see it. It's down. Oh, it's another hog, dude. It's another hog. Here. No way. It's We're little. It's oh, little. It's a baby. So it's so cute. It's so cute. Dude, dude we we are we on hog. Right. Dude, this is awesome. So longer face is male and pinker is probably male and then bright red and shorter snout or whatever you want to call it. Big males get See ya. Like, these are really like their bodies are more of like a white, but their face, just their face is like red. Gotcha. No way. It's a mangrove? Oh my god. Big dude. mangrove That's on insane. the on the pinfish. I will take that. That actually makes sense to me. It was probably yeah, just getting yeah, hammered it was, it was trying, by different mangroves down there. It was trying really hard to get it down that's like a 14 15 inch mangrove right there beautiful i will throw them in the box immediately that's awesome all right so real quick i just want to explain what's going on in this clip basically we were wrapping it up we were about to head home and we saw what we thought was a sea turtle head off in the distance i didn't get this on camera because we had saw the sea turtle i got some drone footage but it turned out to be a crab pot a free floating buoy and when it came up to us and note that we were not looking for triple tail we were further out than most triple tail should be but there was a triple tail on that buoy and we went up to it we found that there was a triple tail on it obviously and the first thing we did was get a little pinfish out there and this fish ate two pinfish before i was able to actually hook it and catch it so we're going to start off with throwing the gulp shrimp that's what brent recommended and that's when things got crazy They'll eat like that. They'll eat a shrimp like five times. Really? Yeah. This thing's very, very uh, forgiving. I can't believe I've lost this fish. I'll let you keep doing a couple more. <laughs> I'll bring it right over his head. How about that? Oh. Boy. He's looking. He's looking. Oh, he started going. No way. Yeah. That was his he, face? Yep, yeah, he turned to Oh, him. crap. I didn't know that was his face. He's looking like at us now. There you go. That's gonna be right over his face. He ate it. What? Are, he, are you oh, sure? He ate it. it. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. Oh my look gosh. Oh my gosh. He's fired up. Bring it past. There you go. Nice, 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 nice. Did he eat it? Yep. He's on the buoy. You're good. You're good. You're good. We're gonna loosen up on the drag, maybe. Just a tad. Oh my gosh dude he ate the gulp shrimp okay if we catch him now it would be a miracle now it would be a miracle he's dragging a whole crab pot behind him no way dude this fish <laughs> oh my gosh dude this would be a heck of a first triple tail you want to net the whole thing <laughs> i'm gonna literally just try and get him. oh my gosh dude no way he's gonna hate this he's gonna hate he's this. gonna hate this i'll loosen up more can probably get the crab drop off. Dude, get him. <laughs> no <way. laughs> Let's go. Dude, on a gulp shrimp. That no so way. Sick. The pinfish. We still have a free floating buoy on the line. I saw this. I was like, dude, what's coming our way? We thought it was a turtle head. And it's a free floating buoy with a triple tail on it. 
Dude, let's go! Oh my gosh, that's awesome. We got you got me. That you gotta be kidding me, dude! I missed this fish like three times. He's he, in it. Go. It's no, gone. Trip. It's as soon as you brought it to his face. It's yeah. Oh my gosh, dude! This yeah, is that might good, be a twenty. This is a good size triple tail. Yeah. I'll tell you when the front's on. A little bit more. Right there. Oh yeah, he's a nineteen at least. I saw it quickly. Did you see it? It was definitely over eighteen. Okay. And we got the. Crab trap buoy as a souvenir. Yeah, I'm taking a video right now. That is the first triple tail of my fishing crew down in Florida. Shout out to Brent once again. Two fish down today. We got the hogfish and the triple tail. This guy was definitely a struggle. We saw what we thought was a turtle head, but it was actually a floating free buoy. And this guy was just chilling on there. He ate a pinfish, another pinfish, and lastly the gulp shrimp. So that's awesome. Shout out to Brent again. That is sick. Oh boy, dude, we got a full cooler today. Yeah, I got some filet in the Give me the slush. Let's go. <laughs> Eat the gulp shrimp. You called it too. Brent called it. He said, "Throw a gulp shrimp at him." I'm like free line it. Free, free line a gulp shrimp. And he did. He he got really aggravated with that thing after a couple casts. What's going on guys? Welcome to my second ever catch and cook and in this catch and cook we are going to be cooking up the hogfish that we caught and I want to do something really really simple and quick for this one because I realize it is a longer video. I usually try to keep my videos shorter than this so I want to make a quick one. Basically we're going to go over three ingredients that you're going to need and that is butter, brown sugar, and Everglades seasoning. So starting out with the Everglades seasoning you're going to want to dry the fish with paper towels and make it so that the seasoning actually sticks because if it's wet it won't stick so what you want to do is pat it dry with a paper towel and then apply about a good amount however much you want really is up to you on each side of the filet and then once you have that done all you're going to need to do is melt some butter and some brown sugar in the microwave once you've done that you're ready to get the grill started so i recommend just kind of pouring it on as you go as you flip just pour a little bit on there and then give it about five to seven minutes depending on how thick the filet is and it should be done it came out looking really really golden cooked it perfectly by far one of my favorite fish to eat so thank you brent for being able to get us out there and get some hogs because I've never had one. This is the first time I've had one and it was amazing. You guys can tell by the plate, it is gone. It was amazing. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this catch and cook. Let me know if you guys wanna see more catch and cooks in the future, I will be gladly open to do so. And let's get into the outro. Oh, hey, does that buoy look familiar, guys? Does that look familiar? I think it does. Yeah, that's the souvenir from the triple tail. All right, we got some bluegill. Let's feed, uh, feed moose and big mama and whoever else wants to eat. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. We got like three of them in my hand right now. I'm just gonna kinda creep down here and see if I can get them to come eat really close. That's my foot moose, that's not. Okay, these are fish. Oh, 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 right here. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, I can't even, oh, oh. Moose is, oh my gosh, moose wants that one so bad. I don't even know what just happened in the last like eight seconds. Okay, well, let's do that again. That was a lot of fun. And go. Oh, oh, oh. There's no way three of them got eaten that fast. Oh, there's one over here. There's one. Oh, the little one, the little one, the little baby. I think he got it. Let's try to throw some out of the glare. I apologize. I don't know why this glare is so annoying. <laughs> They're all fighting. Oh my, oh my gosh. Do you guys understand how many bass are here right now? I, there's two of them I've never even seen before. There, There's literally like seven, seven bass here right now. I. Every time I come out here, they just show up randomly. It's crazy. Alrighty guys, that is gonna wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to drop a comment, leave a like, and subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.